What's up guys? I hope y'all are having a great day today full of so much positivity and happiness, dude. And hopefully your day is going a little bit better than mine because while I was streaming RoboCop Rogue City last night, great game by the way. If you guys have not picked that up and you're interested, I had a really good time with it for the first four hours. It's a uh, very action-based, just overall enjoyable game. But anyway, that's beside the point. When I was streaming RoboCop last night, I got an email from YouTube saying that one of my videos got age restricted, man. And if you can take a guess of which one it was, it was the one I uploaded yesterday. <laughs> And what was interesting about this is in the email I received, there was no actual reason for the age restriction cited. Whereas typically, if you have a YouTube video that you upload that goes against TOS or is kind of on like, you know, that I guess red line kind of, you know, dancing on what's acceptable and not acceptable, they'll give you a reason why. For example, like if you have video game nudity, they might age restrict your video for like nudity or sexual content. Or if you're saying extremely like, severe shit like in the form of slurs and things like that you know you'll get a profanity warning things of that nature like you get the point they usually give you a reason for why your content is being age restricted in the first place if there actually is a valid reason behind it so this is the email that i received initially from youtube it says hi griffin gaming we have reviewed your content and determined that it may not be suitable for viewers under the age of 18 per our community guidelines. As a result, we've age restricted the following content. Spider-Man replaced in Spider-Man 2 PS5. Insomniac writers say Miles Morales is real Spider-Man. You know, a horrible fucking video topic that I'm sure that children everywhere would be just permanently harmed from viewing, man. You know, it would be absolutely detrimental to their developmental years if they consume this video. Well, probably in the view of a tech company like Google. It probably would be because I was dropping some, uh, you know, very hard truths in there, I guess you could say. We haven't applied a strike to your channel and your content is still live for some users on YouTube. Keep reading for more details on what this means and steps you can take if you'd like to appeal this decision. And it says what age restricted means. We age restrict content we don't think is suitable for younger audiences. This means it will not be visible to users who are logged out, are under 18 years of age, or have restricted mode enabled. Our age restrictions are in place to help viewers avoid watching content that they may not feel is acceptable for themselves or for their children. We review content on a case-by-case -case basis and will make limited exceptions for appropriate educational, documentary, artistic, and scientific context. Learn more here. And basically it says what you can do is you can appeal it, which I absolutely did. And almost immediately, man, I was greeted with a second email, like literally minutes later. And it says, hi, Griffin Gaming. We have reviewed your appeal for the following video. Spider-Man replaced in Spider-Man 2, PS5. We reviewed your content carefully, which they literally took a minute to get back to me, so no, they didn't. And have confirmed that it violates our community guidelines. We know this is probably disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. How does this impact your content? We will continue to age restrict your content as we don't think it's suitable for younger audiences. This means it will not be visible to users who are logged out, are under 18 years of age and have restricted mode enabled. It also won't be eligible for ads. Thanks, Team YouTube. You know, the classic thank of the children fucking excuse, man. You know, it might not be suitable for people's children. Well, you know, children have YouTube kids. I don't understand why this is still even an issue, but, you know, of course. But I have two theories, man, because I've dealt with age restriction a lot in the past. You know, I've had several videos, like my extra credits video, where they claim that anyone who played a World War II shooter would turn into literal cyber Hitler, you know, things like that, or if you played like Medal of Honor, the reboot, and you played as the Taliban, you would become a suicide bomber, things of that nature, okay? Like, you get the point. I don't want to get too into it, man. I gotta dance around the fucking words now, I guess, because can't talk about anything slightly controversial. Now, in the past, whenever these videos have been age-restricted, it's usually either been a false age restriction that has been appealed almost immediately, or in some cases, it is upheld, and they give me, like, a specific reason for why it was 
age restricted. Like one case, it was sexual content on the recent Xbox stream I did because that Yakuza trailer had a naked ass in it. So, you know, that type of stuff I can understand. And, you know, you have like a literal reason why it's been age restricted. Okay. But this is the first time I've ever had an age restricted video that is basically completely reasonless. I've never been greeted with this email and not had a reason attached for the decision. And I've definitely never had a video when I've appealed the decision, still not have a reason attached to it or had this immediate of a response without it being appealed, which leads me to the natural conclusion is that YouTube did not like what I had to say in this particular video. Now, in all honesty, I didn't really think I said anything that controversial. You know, I didn't really get into the whole like woke politics aspect of it or the racial issues or anything like that. I kind of just kept it to the main plot line of the story and talked about my critiques of the uh, storyline of Spider-Man 2 and the bad writing that Insomniac employed in order to basically write out Peter Parker from the storyline to make room for Miles Morales. Like, I don't really feel like I went off the rails too much in that video. Like, the other videos I've made on Spider-Man, I would say, are much more controversial than this one. But for some reason, this one in particular was, you know, hit with this. Now, there's two explanations for that. It could be that a bunch of spider simps got their little panties in a wad and decided to mass report my video and YouTube's dog shit system decided, oh yeah, let's age restrict it. This is controversial. And you know, it's just some dumb bot decision, which, you know, that does happen from time to time when a bunch of people just, you know, mass rally and flag a video because, you know, they can't handle a differing opinion. So instead of just, you know, actually arguing the points or, you know, maybe listening to someone with a different perspective and moving on with their life, they take it upon themselves to mass flag videos. This is nothing new. It's part of being on YouTube, unfortunately. And the internet overall, because everybody is a special little snowflake who can't fucking stand to be told that they're potentially wrong. But that's one possibility. And the other possibility is that I could have said the right thing on the wrong platform, so to say, because when I mentioned a very specific sugary infant company, you know, draw the lines, I think that might be it because this is the first video that I've ever mentioned them in an actual Spider-Man 2 video and the first video I've ever mentioned them before. So I don't know, man. You know, I want to put my tinfoil hat on for a second because if you look at this sugary infant website, you know, and you look at all the clients that they have across the tech industry and the video game industry, they're very, very well connected. And what's interesting about their site as well is they don't really draw attention to who they are as an organization. Like typically websites of big companies who are this prominent in the industry would have like a list of all their executives and leaderships and managers and all the people working for them. But this website, if you ever go to it, you know, just look up Sugary Infant or, you know, a very close equivalent to that name. I'm not going to say it in this video just to be safe. But if you look up this Sugary Infant website, you will find no mention of who their overall leadership is whatsoever. You have to dig online to find it in order to discover who these people are. So, you know, forgive me in current year that is 2023 for putting my tinfoil hat on and thinking that this might be some sort of cover-up conspiracy, but we've seen big tech do a lot more for a lot less, and it wouldn't even surprise me for a second that maybe just because I mentioned this group in a negative context, that that's what caused the video to be age-restricted. Because what's interesting is before I even appealed the decision, I noticed something that when I went over the monetization status, it said that the video had already been confirmed by manual review is not suitable for most advertisers, which either indicates that they got a bunch of reports on the video, meaning a bunch of people flagged it and they manually reviewed it, or, you know, it hit on a topic that they have flagged in their system that they go in and examine and automatically demonetize and age restrict if you talk about that specific topic. So I'm wondering, man, because that's also very suspicious that this video was already manually reviewed for age restriction and ad suitability before I even had the opportunity to appeal, which means YouTube went in and took the initiative to go ahead and manually flag this video for age restriction and limited ads. So I don't know, man, that's what kind of causes me to slip the tinfoil hat on. I have never seen anything like this before, and I definitely think it is a case of me saying the right thing on the wrong platform, if you catch what I mean. But I don't know, dude, this is a very uncontroversial video. I thought... I'm gonna 
would just kind of play it safe, I guess, for the next few videos, see how it goes, like lay off of anything that could be considered, you know, not kid friendly. I mean, obviously I'm not going to censor myself or anything like that or my opinion, because at the end of the day, man, if I have to do that, what's the fucking point? Like who gives a shit? Like if you can't say what you want on the internet and eh, I'm not going to fucking pussyfoot around my opinions and pretend to be someone I'm not. So, you know, whatever happens, happens at this point. I mean, I really don't know what was so controversial about that video. I did not get into any political topics whatsoever. I mainly just kept it purely about the plot line of Spider-Man 2 and the many issues that I can cite with the overall storytelling and plot line of that game that caused it to be the absolute dumpster fire that I believe it is. But I don't know, man. Pretty interesting scenario overall. I haven't decided if I'm going to delete the video or not because, you know, it kind of glows in the dark, so to say. And I don't really know if a uh, strike is going to follow suit because typically that is kind of an indicator that you may get a community guideline strike in the future is if you do have these type of age restricted videos with no actual reason cited for why they're age restricted in the first place because that usually indicates an ideological difference in what YouTube wants to allow on their platform meaning that a community guideline strike might follow shortly after so I'm going to debate and see what happens with that it is really a shame because that video was doing insanely well view wise like it was like ranked 2 out of 10 of my most viewed recently uploaded videos at the time that it got age restricted so it was doing well obviously after that it completely tanked and nobody's watching it anymore which is fine because I ain't getting any more shekels off of the ad revenue so it is what it is but I don't know man I thought it was a pretty good video a lot of people seem to really enjoy it you know like to dislike ratio was pretty fucking solid 97% so overall I don't really think it was that controversial of a video but I guess either people got really really upset and mass flagged it which caused YouTube to you know investigate further or I said the right thing to like tip their system off for them to step in and intervene so I don't know guys let me know what you think in the comment section below you know make sure to drop a like on this video I would greatly appreciate it and yeah the content's gonna keep coming this is just an inevitable speed bump in your YouTube career as a content creator which is why I never planned on and never will make this my full-time job because it's just way too unpredictable and that way I can actually be who I want to be on the internet say what I want to say and not you know just completely sell out in order to make sure my channel doesn't disappear overnight so anyway guys I appreciate y'all checking out this video the content is gonna keep on coming baby don't worry about that I'm not like stressing this really that much whatever happens happens this stuff does kind of glow in the dark a little bit guys but if you all enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it I would greatly appreciate it and you know just stay tuned man the content's gonna keep coming so with that shit said guys appreciate all the support as of late it's been absolutely incredible and I've been having such a great time coming back to making content consistently aside from just streaming so appreciate all the support on the channel everyone and I will talk to all of y'all later peace out